Let us install Bodhi Tree in the local system. First, log into your Fabricator account. In Fabricator, the repositories are inside Diffusion. We are going to clone Bodhi Tree Flip. So, copy the git clone URL. I am going to clone it to this directory. So, open in terminal and then paste it. So, your, your Fabricator credentials. Actually, this is not the same as your Fabricator username and password. You have to uh, click on this Manage Credentials and then you have to set up the password here initially. So, back to Diffusion and uh, Positive Flip. So, we have cloned this directory. It is in this directory right now. So, in Fabricator, uh, Friction is the wiki. I have created a wiki entry for uh, Positive Local Installation Instructions. So, install all the software dependencies. I have installed all of these and uh, you can create a PostgreSQL database and a user using these commands. I have already created this user so I can't do it. So sudo so postgres will take you to this postgres user and uh, psql will give you a postgresql terminal. In this you can create database, create user and grant all privileges. So exiting from the Postgres terminal. Now create a virtual environment and activate it. So, so yeah, I am giving the clone instructions here only, but doesn't matter. Now cd to that uh, clone project folder. It is positively flipped and install all the requirements by using this command pip install hyphen r demonstrate.txt. You have to install ffmpeg and the instructions are and the download link is uh, found in this URL. So download it and install, follow the instructions to install it. You have to compile the sources. FFPROB is required in video quizzes. So after installing these requirements, follow these commands. And uh, copy the settings INI sample settings INI. The default settings are pretty okay so you don't have to edit it but if you want to change the username password or the database details you have to edit it this an editor settings for time is a file so you can give your username password for the postgresql database and the database name and uh, we are going to create all the tables for that the command is manage.py make migrations And after that, manage to pay migrate. Oh, I have changed the password, so I have to modify it. Now it's working. So, you can now run the server using this command and uh, for, uh, for operations on fabrication we have to install rcast, you can refer to this wiki for installing that. So to install rcast, cd to a folder where you can install the software. So I am going to do it in 
my home and uh, software folder. So I'm going to make this folder. It's in my home. And I have to git clone these two repos. After cloning these two repos, we have to add this uh, this installation path and then arcanist bin to the path environment variable. For this, open a terminal and uh, open your bash rc. I have already added this line here. So export path equal to uh, the place where you have you know, cloned those repos trees and then arcanist slash bin colon and then the old path variable whatever it is so this is a format to follow so the first repo is gone i'm going to clone the second repo mistake I cloned it in the prepare directory so anyway you have to CD to the software before cloning I did not know that uh, so now uh, this two directories will be in this software location and uh, in the arcanist there will be a bin folder this bin is the one which we added to our bash rc path environment variable so after this uh, restart your terminal and try installing try running the command r i got this message use the exception no command provided try r help if this comes arc is installed so after installing arc Go to this project directory. I am in the project directory now and run this command arc install certificate. So, this will give you a link and open, open that link and uh, you will get an API token. Copy paste this API token back to the ter terminal. So, you will get this message success API token installed. So, arc is also installed. Then linting tools should be installed before modifying and pushing. So install the Node.js and npm. I have already installed it. And then copy paste these four commands. I had already installed this. That's why it's going fast. So we have installed all the required softwares, we have set up the database and now we have to create a super user or the root user for the website because currently there is no super user. So initially we should have one user to log in. So after this is installed, run this manage.py run server and by default the server will be run in, oh I haven't started the virtual environment. So source which venv pin activate, activate the virtual environment and then run the server. 
So by default, it will be in localhost 8000 port. But I don't have a user account. So we have to create a super user from the terminal itself. So manage py, create super user is a command. I'll just give it this PC. Okay, so I have an account now. I'll start the server again. Yeah, it's online. So login. Yes, I am able to load it. 